If you have an old school alcohol carburetor and you're trying to get it to run on gasoline or E85, you're going to notice that these carburetors come with jet holes that are designed to be ran with alcohol sized jets, which is actually a larger thread pitch. If you go ahead and try to take standard gasoline jets, like these jet extensions that I have here, and you try to thread them in, they actually don't thread in because they're a different size. My solution to run gasoline sized jets in an alcohol metering block is to actually do this. What these are is that they're actually a set of jet extensions designed for an alcohol carburetor. These jet extensions used to be as long as the ones that I have here for a gasoline style carburetor, but I went ahead and I cut the tips off to where I had a little bit more meat and then I went ahead and drilled all the way through and then tapped the new set of threads so that way I can match it to a gasoline jet. So in order to run a gasoline jet in an alcohol metering block, I would go ahead and install my adapters that I made first and then after that I would install the jets into the adapters. By doing so you end up with something like this. You have a set of jets over a set of adapters and the adapters end up acting like a set of jet extensions themselves. So if you're using them in the back it's not a big deal but if you're using them in the front of the carburetor it might not be as ideal but it definitely does work. These metering blocks look pretty crusty right now, but I've ran over 550 horsepower to the rear wheels on E85, and there was no chance that the carburetor was even close to leaning out. So if you guys find a good deal on an alcohol carburetor and you run into this issue, just remember alcohol jet extensions, cut the tips off, drill and tap, and you're golden. After that, it's just tuning of the idle feed restrictors, power valve restrictor channels, emulsion circuit. But if you're looking for the best bang for your buck, this is a great way to do it. Anyway, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and post them down below. I will see you guys all in the next one. Night Wrencher, out.